Marco Bisbikis, a 38-year-old attorney from Southfield, Michigan, was arrested for hiring a hitman to murder jeweler Dan Hutchinson on June the 1st of 2022. Bisbikis worked at a law firm specializing in personal injuries. Hutchinson, who was accompanied by his wife on the day of the attack, was fatally shot in his car after exiting his pawn shop. His wife wasn't harmed by the hitman, who immediately fled the scene following the shooting. After the police launched an investigation into the matter, they discovered that Bisbikis had been hired to draft Hutchinson's will, but had unlawfully edited the document to include himself as one of the beneficiaries. Three other men were arrested in relation to the attack, including the alleged shooter, 44-year-old Roy Larry. Investigators also discovered call records connecting Larry and Bisbikis with one another. The co-conspirators were reportedly in contact minutes before the crime was committed. Bisbikis was charged with premeditated murder, felony firearm possession and conspiracy. Number 8. Gavin Rush on November the 26th of 2022, 41-year-old Gavin Rush was caught on camera shooting his ex-girlfriend three times at a bar in Austin, Texas. Rush, who worked as an attorney at the Pfeiffer Wolf Car Kane and Conway law firm, had a history of violence, having been charged with assault in 2017 for attacking a previous partner. CCTV footage showed the man entering the bar where his former girlfriend worked and pulling out a gun, at which point he opened fire at the woman before he was tackled to the ground by three patrons. Witnesses later testified that Rush had grown irate after the woman, whose identity wasn't disclosed, refused to speak to him. Fortunately, she wasn't harmed during the attack. Rush was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and released two days later on a $40,000 bond. In a shocking turn of events, Rush was found dead at his residence on November the 30th. As of the most recent available updates, his cause of death hadn't been revealed to the public with the investigation still ongoing. Authorities did, however, indicate that they did not consider the lawyer's death to be suspicious. Number 7. Haley Christine Sherman 29-year-old attorney Haley Christine Sherman and her boyfriend, 33-year-old James Brandon Farmer, were arrested on April 5, 2018, after police discovered a large quantity of illicit drugs at their residence in Stokes County, North Carolina. After conducting a two-month investigation into the couple's illegal activities, police obtained a warrant to search their home, uncovering the material, which included unprescribed Xanax, as well as digital scales and packaging material. They were arrested on 14 felony charges related to possession with the intent to sell and deliver illicit substances. On October the 22nd of 2018, Sherman agreed to a plea agreement with the prosecution and was consequently sentenced to 30 months of supervised probation. She was also disbarred after facing North Carolina's Disciplinary Hearing Commission on April the 26th of 2021. Number 6. Brianna Christine Ionites A criminal attorney from Gold Coast, Australia named Brianna Christine Ionites was arrested three times between November of 2015 and February of 2016 on charges related to possession and distribution of illicit substances. The 26-year-old lawyer, who reportedly held connections to the Fink's biker gang, failed to appear in court for a hearing on the first two cases, leading police to search her home, where they seized money, weapons, steroids, and several illegal drugs. On February the 18th of 2016, Ionides was arrested along with several other suspects during a bikini party at a luxury apartment owned by Mass Nutrition founder Luke McNally. Police found MDMA and GHB as well as other substances and also uncovered evidence of a lab. Ionides had a long history of run-ins with the law, breaking parole, and was the focus of several police investigations. She pleaded guilty to 21 charges on April the 16th of 2019 and was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison. Number five. Michael Avenatti California lawyer Michael Avenatti, who represented adult film actress Stormy Daniels during her legal battle against former President Donald Trump, was sentenced to 14 years in prison on December the 6th of 2022 for defrauding his clients. 51-year-old Avenatti, who was already serving a five-year sentence for two unrelated convictions, pleaded guilty to charges of wire fraud and obstruction. In addition to the prison time, he was also ordered to pay $10.8 million in restitution to his victims. Avenatti chose to represent himself during the trial, in spite of not being a criminal lawyer. His prior convictions were related to an attempt to extort nearly $25 million from Nike 
and cheating his former client, Daniels, out of a portion of her book proceeds. The sentences would not be served concurrently, adding up to a total of 19 years behind bars for the disgraced attorney. Number 4. Andrew Spark Andrew Spark, a Florida lawyer, was arrested on December the 17th of 2017 for exposing himself while visiting clients at the Pinellas County Jail and requesting intimate favors from female inmates, taking advantage of his position as a defense attorney to spend time in private with prisoners. Spark, aged 58, paid women to have intercourse with him. He allegedly recorded the encounters on his iPad for an adult film series entitled Girls in Jail. Authorities were able to gather evidence against the lawyer during an undercover operation in November of 2017 involving convicted felon Shanna Bosselli. Spark offered to deposit a small sum of money into Bosselli's commissary account in exchange for intimate relations. Another inmate, Antoinette Rose Napolitano, also collaborated with the investigation. Police wired the room before her meeting with Spark and successfully caught him in the act. He was charged with soliciting, exposure, and possession of contraband, for which he was sentenced to five years probation on February the 8th of 2019. Number 3. Keegan Kelly Haros Oklahoma defense lawyer Keegan Kelly Haros faced the possibility of the death penalty for helping her client, 40-year-old Barry Roland Titus II, murder his ex-girlfriend and her parents on September the 7th of 2019. Harros, who was 38 at the time, fell in love with Titus while representing him in a domestic assault case against his former partner, 43-year-old Tiffany Eichor. The pair got married soon after and Harros allegedly advised her new husband to frame his ex by planting evidence, which landed her in trouble for witness intimidation. Together, Harros and Titus plotted to murder Eichor and her parents, Jack and Kay Chandler, 65 and 69, respectively. All three victims were shot multiple times with two different caliber guns. On the night of the attack, Titus and Harris were recorded by a surveillance camera parking close to i home. Several DNA samples obtained at the scene were positively matched to Titus, who was the police's main suspect given his violent history with the victims. Another vital piece of inculpatory evidence was provided by Harris's brother who gave the police an AR-15 he believed to have been used to commit the triple homicide. Investigators were able to match the shell cases found at the scene to the rifle and find the weapon's original owner, who confirmed he'd sold it to Harros and Titus. Both suspects were charged with premeditated murder and burglary. While awaiting trial, Harros was sentenced to two years in prison for possession of a rifle in violation of federal law because she was subject to an emergency victim protective order. As of the latest developments, the legal proceedings were still ongoing. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and maybe it will be your video that we'll be doing next. Number two, Vicky Greco. Between 2008 and 2010, attorney Vicky Greco submitted fake documents to the Las Vegas Justice Court in over 41 cases in which she was involved. Greco would allegedly falsify certificates of completion for both court-appointed counseling and community service for her clients, most of whom were escorts. An investigation was launched after inconsistencies were discovered in the paperwork she filed on behalf of her clients, leading to her arrest in December of 2015. She was charged with 138 felony and gross misdemeanor counts, including burglary, forgery, and destroying evidence. The following year, her law license was suspended by the Nevada Supreme Court. On May the 30th of 2018, Greco pleaded guilty to three of the felonies, admitting to defrauding the court system. She was sentenced to 90 days in jail plus five years probation. If Greco failed to comply with the conditions of her probation, she could face between 19 and 48 months of additional jail time. Number 1. Jennifer Emmy 43-year-old Jennifer Emmy, a prominent animal rights lawyer from Evergreen, Colorado, attempted to hire a hitman to murder her estranged husband's new girlfriend, Karen Elledge, in January of 2020. Emmy, who owned a non-profit organization known as Animal Law Center, was involved in bitter divorce proceedings with the father of her three children, Donnie, at the time of her arrest. Elledge, aged 30, 
had been employed by the couple as an au pair before their separation, after which she became romantically involved with Donnie. Emmy asked 28-year-old Timothy Lindsay, one of the ranch hands, employed by her NPO to help her find a hitman. Instead, he contacted both Emmy's husband and the police on November the 2nd of 2020 and told authorities he would pretended to be interested in his boss's offer and told her it would cost her around $100,000. Lindsay, who managed to record one of his conversations with Emmy, stated that she'd briefly considered the idea of also murdering her husband and framing the double homicide as a car accident. On June the 28th of 2021, Emmy pleaded guilty to nine felonies in connection to three separate cases, including one in which she had threatened her husband with a knife. She was ultimately sentenced to 10 years behind bars, with credit for the seven months she'd already served during the case's legal proceedings. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be a lawyer or a criminal? Let us know in the comments section below.